today's video, I will be giving you three factors you need to consider before accepting a job offer in tech in a case where you've received more than one offer. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lillian. If this is your first time on this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. If you've been here before, I really do appreciate you. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope your journey so far has been nothing short of amazing. So guys, like I said at the start of the video, this is to give you the opportunity to sit back and decide first before accepting a job offer in tech. What I hope for you is that at the end of your journey, when you've started applying to jobs in tech, that you do indeed get more than one offer. So how do you know which company to go for since everyone says it's not always about the money? So the very first one you want to consider is please consider the company culture. Now, this means that you may have to message some of the current employees of the company on LinkedIn or Twitter to ask a few questions about their experience working for the company. I know that you may have asked your interviewer a few questions during the interview about the company culture, but it's, it, it doesn't matter if we check a second time, right? So you can message existing employees and ask questions like, do they feel supported? Are they happy working there? Is it a kind of company where there is a room for growth or is it a company to get away from? If you ask these questions, you get your responses back. Do rate your responses out of 10 for each of the offers. The second factor you need to consider is the potential for growth. Now, you need to know that you're able to progress so you've started as a beginner, a junior developer, or a trainee, or an apprentice, but what are the chances that in one year, in two years, you're gonna move up slightly in the ladder? If it's a company where, well, there is not a structure really, and you do a little of everything, and there is no growth and progress in sight, you might want to reconsider that. And finally, the third option you need to consider is the salary, the perks, and the benefits. So you need to consider, has the company got health, private health insurance for employees like yourself? Has the company got company um, employee share options where you can purchase some of the shares of the company? Or has the company got additional benefits like at an employee assistant programs and some other things to really help your mental health. So when you're done checking and rating these companies out of 10, it is time for you to then decide which company to go for. 